Hey, what's up guys? I'm KBHD here and I'm here with LG and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the newest flagship, the LG G5. We're gonna be unboxing the silver one, but there's also pink, gold, and Titan. It's a 5.2 inch display phone, so it's a mid to large size phone, but it feels pretty light, which is actually kind of nice for a big footprint. It's all silver. We have this thin line of chamfer all the way around the back of the phone. You have your headphone jack up top, a little speaker on the bottom, and a USB Type-C with Quick Charge 3.0. On the back, we have a fingerprint reader and a power button, but no volume buttons. They moved the volume buttons over to the side from when they were on the back on the V10 and the G4. And then you also have two cameras on the back. And I'll talk about the cameras in a second, but inside we get a Snapdragon 820, four gigabytes of RAM. That Quad HD panel gets bright. And I actually wanna take a second to talk about the camera on the back, which makes this pretty special. You have two cameras, as you can see. One 16 megapixel standard camera, and then a eight megapixel dedicated super wide angle camera. You suddenly zoom way out to 135 degrees, and you also have laser autofocus and your LED flash. There's also a dedicated 8 megapixel front facing camera. It's also pretty wide angle. Now, what it's doing is just called auto shot. It recognizes my face pretty well. I don't have to press any buttons, it automatically takes a shot. Right off the bat, this is a modular phone. You can actually add and subtract parts of the phone to add functionality. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what that means. It's a removable battery and also expandable storage, but in order to get this battery out of the phone while it's still on, you just hold that key in and pull the battery right out the bottom of the phone. It might seem a little weird to do that at first, but if you have another battery juiced up, say you just unhook it here, grab another battery, and you'd hook it into the bottom of the phone again, essentially just like having a fresh phone. Now I also wanna show you the expandable storage because there's a little SD card slot Boom, there's your SIM card tray. And of course, there's your micro SD card slot. So that slides in. Adding storage is as easy as that. And I'm gonna show you a couple of the other LG friends. Let's say someone who takes a lot of photos, a lot of videos on their phone. You can add this Cam Plus module to the phone and give them a little bit of extra abilities. And I just added a bunch of buttons on the back and also a 1200 milliamp hour battery. So an accessory like this will give you not only a little bit of a better grip on the back of the phone, but it lets you access and control everything from one side with one hand. So what you're gonna do with this zoom here is actually dynamically switch as you zoom between the standard 16 megapixel camera and the super wide angle camera. So if I zoom out here, I switch to the wide camera and I go all the way wide to this 135 degree crazy wide angle lens. And it switches pretty seamlessly, which is nice. So you have a dedicated half press and full press shutter button here for focusing and taking the shot. And then you also have a video button just for starting a video. So if you're just in a rush and you press that button, you're immediately taking a 4K video. And there's a couple other LG friends that'll work with this phone that don't necessarily go into it like another modular part. So this is the 360 camera. It's essentially two back-to-back 180-degree -back lenses, and it's talking directly to the phone via the Friends app. Another friend here, which is actually a VR headset that plugs directly in via USB Type-C. You can actually look around your 360 degree photos and videos on this headset while you're plugging into your phone. So that's pretty cool too. Another accessory that's not technically a friend, but actually really cool and might be my favorite thing is this battery cradle. This will not only keep it charged, but it'll transform it into a portable charger. So you have a USB Type-C in and then a full-size USB port out. So if you have a tablet or something else with a little battery, all you gotta do is plug it in and you're charging. So that's pretty much it for the LG G5. It's something I've been waiting for for a while to play with. The ability to immediately add these modules and change stuff in and out is really unique. It's new, it's different, and I like it. It's the G5. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.